Hey guys, how's it going? So today on this Rapture review, we're gonna be taking a look at the Promark Active Grips. Now the main feature of these Active Grips is the heat activated non-slip coating, which replaces the lacquer around the edge so the diameter isn't changed. They're made from really durable US hickory. They've got wood tips and the harder you play, the more they grip. And they come in various different sizes. The ones I have here are the classic 5A, but they also come in 7A, 5B and 2B. But they also come in classic forward and rebound. And the difference between those is just the position of the shoulder. But if you're not a fan of the black coating and you want a more natural look, then they now come in clear finish. So the pros to these sticks are that they are a great innovative design that genuinely works. There's no need to go out and buy extra stick wrap and also there's a great amount of sizes to suit most drummers. However, the cons to these sticks is that they are £18.50 retail per pair, which can be a little bit expensive for some people. Also, if you have overly sweaty hands, they can slip due to the moisture barrier, but also they don't come as nylon tips. In addition to the Promark range, they are a great addition for those who are looking for extra grip and something a little bit different. So the technology that's gone into these sticks, even though they are a little bit expensive, I do believe that they are good value for money. If I was using these sticks myself and I broke a pair, I would definitely look at buying another pair. So as you may have seen from my previous videos, I was using the Active Grips for a long time and they did feel great. However, I'd much preferred the extra length that you got with the Shirakashi Oak 747s. So I did switch back to that and I just put stick wrap on those. But should I ever switch sticks again, the Active Grips are definitely gonna be one to consider. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've tried out the Active Grips, please let me know what you think in the comment sections below. If you haven't tried them and you have any questions, again, leave them in the comment sections below. Don't forget to subscribe guys, and I'll see you in the next video.